Chapter 12 And at that time Michael the great prince shall stand up that stands over the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of tribulation, such tribulation as has not been from the time that there was a nation on the earth until that time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, even every one that is written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to reproach and everlasting shame. And the wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and some of the many righteous as the stars forever and ever. And thou, Daniel, close the words and seal the book to the time of the end, until many are taught and knowledge is increased. And I, Daniel, saw, and behold, two others stood, one on one side of the bank of the river, and the other on the other side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man clothed in linen, who was over the water of the river, When will be the end of the wonders which thou hast mentioned? And then I heard the man clothed in linen, who was over the water of the river, and he lifted up his right hand and his left hand to heaven, and swear by him that lives forever, that it should be for a time of times and half a time. When the dispersion is ended, they shall know all these things. And I heard, but I understood not, and I said, O Lord, what will be the end of these things? And he said, Go, Daniel. For the words are closed and sealed up to the time of the end. Many must be tested and thoroughly widened and tried with fire and sanctified. But the transgressors shall transgress, and none of the transgressors shall understand. But the wise shall understand. And from the time of the removal of the perpetual sacrifice, when the abomination of desolation shall be set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waits and comes to the thousand three hundred and thirty-five days. But go through and rest, for there are yet days and seasons, to the fulfillment of the end, and thou shalt stand in thy lot at the end of days.